Setting up your styles is an important part of modeling your water lines. There are two different styles you will need to set up, pipe styles and structure styles. In your tool space, on the settings tab, your pipe styles are found underneath pipe, pipe styles. Right click on pipe styles and choose new. On the information tab, name your new style. In this case, I'm going to use water. On the display tab, you'll need to choose what it is you want to see. In my case, all I want to see is a single line representing my water line. So I'm going to toggle off everything except for pipe center line. Now, when I set up my styles for my water lines, I like to have my pipes and structures to display according to the layer that they're on. To do this, make sure that all the layers are set to layer 0 and all of the properties are set to by block. By doing this, you can easily control the display of your object simply by changing the color of it or changing the color that the layer is. Now I'll set up my structure styles. Like the pipe styles, structure files are found underneath structure, structure styles. I'm going to right click on structure styles and say new. This first structure that I'm going to create is going to be for a fire hydrant, so I'm going to name it hydrant. Under the plan tab, I need to choose how I want it to display. In this case, I have a block that I want to use to represent my fire hydrant. So I'm going to choose user defined part and I'm going to select that block from the drawing. Now in this case, I'm not trying to actually model the physical size of the fire hydrant. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change my size options to use drawing scale and I'm going to set it so that this fire hydrant will always plot 0.15 inches tall. Now, just like I did with my pipes, I'm going to come over to the display tab, choose what it is you want to display. In this case, I'm just going to have it display the structure. And again, I'm going to make sure everything is set to layer 0, and all my properties are set to by block. I'm going to create another style for an 8 inch by 6 inch T. Now, I already have a style that's set up very similar to the one I want, the hydrant style. So I'm simply going to copy this style. Under the information tab, I'm going to name this 8 inch by 6 inch T. Now, I can't use the inch symbol in the style name. So instead of using a quotation mark, I'm simply going to use two apostrophes for the style name. Now under the plan tab, I'm going to change which block this is using. Now I don't have this 8 inch by 6 inch T block defined in this drawing. I have it as its own drawing. So I can use this icon here to browse for that drawing. In this case, I am trying to physically model the actual size of the T. So I'm going to change my sizing options to fixed scale, and I'm going to use a scale of 1 because the block is defined true scale. On the display tab, I don't have to make any changes because I copied the hydrant style. I would then continue to create all the necessary styles for my waterline design.